Now that we know the why of the DLEAF program, let's look at what the program is. First off, to be clear, DLEAF stands for Digital Learning Facilitator. We've shortened the name to DLEAF, which is less of a mouthful. Also, we know that SFUSD loves abbreviations and acronyms, so we wanted to fit in. We currently have 70 DLEAFs at 42 school sites, and we are expecting this number to grow in the next month. That's a lot of people you can collaborate with and learn from. Going back to the purpose of the program, we really want DLEAFs to increase the capacity at their school site for technology implementation. DLEAFs work with us in digital learning and enablement to get support and resources. They meet with their admin and ILTs to align their work to the school's missions and goals, as well as increase skills, knowledge, and awareness for the community around digital tools. On the last slide, I mentioned digital learning and enablement. That's us. We are a small group of educators in SFUSD's Department of Technology, and each one of us is assigned to support a certain cohort of schools. You can see which DLE member or cohort partner is assigned to your cohort on the right, right side of the slide. If you're not sure which cohort your school is in, click the Cohort Partnerships link for a complete list. Cohort partners are here to support you in the completion of DLEAF deliverables, such as portfolio entries or participating in events like Digital Learning Week and Digital Agency Week. They facilitate professional learning, and they help highlight the work you're doing at your school site. Reach out to them if you have questions. For the past couple of years, we've had a lot of success in framing our work around deeper learning. So this year's focus will be deeper learning. Yay. For those who are unfamiliar with deeper learning, it is a series of pedagogical practices that SFUSD has adopted that helps educators find meaningful ways to recognize and honor the experiences and perspectives of all students. What does that look like? It's a shift from individual and isolated learning structures to ones that involve community, feedback, and iteration. It's a shift from activities being teacher-directed to student-led to make room for inquiry and interest in the learning process. Our job is to show the SFUSD community how this can and already is being done with the help of technology and digital tools. Similar to last year, we are going to look at our work through the lens of Deeper Learning's four core instructional priorities. Equitable access and demand, inquiry, collaboration, and assessment for learning. You'll be able to choose one of the priorities to focus on for the year.